My name is Greg Turner. I'm with the Pennsylvania Game Commission and I'm a wildlife biologist. I specialize in the non-game mammals. Particularly of concern these days are bats. Oh, so here we got a bat hidden. And we're at a cave in Mifflin County called Mount Rock Cave. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that looks like a big brown bat wedged right in that crack. About two years ago, we diagnosed white nose syndrome here, which is a disease that is affecting bats, all cave hibernating bats. So this site had, before white nose syndrome came, a couple hundred bats, uh, somewhere between four and five species, depending on the year. And today we just went in and surveyed it, and uh, we found about 63 bats in there. I think I'm going to go head first up top. We have three species of bats here. Uh, this is what used to be our most common bat, the little brown bat. There's one of them. There's several big browns hanging. And then this down here, this little tiny guy, <coughs> is our uh, state threatened small footed bat. So it's good to see A, that we have some survivors, and, and also that. Uh, one of these guys are getting hit really hard with the small footed here, or, or the little browns are getting hit real hard with white nose. And it's real good to see an actual survivor there. So and I don't see any fungus or any sign of problem on that bat. So we'll mark down our data and push on to the next section. We don't know the cause to white nose syndrome. Uh, what we know is that the, the fungus, this white fungus we see on the bats when they're inside these sites hibernating, uh, we know that causes lesions on the wing membranes and the exposed skin, like their nose and their ears. Um, whether that is actually causing mortality in some way, we don't yet know. We think it is, but we can't confirm it for sure. 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. The Game Commission uh, is responsible for all birds and mammal species. We have been monitoring and, uh, and protecting bats in Pennsylvania for about 25 to 30 years now. Well, we've been doing surveys every two years, keeping track of what bat species are there and how many of each. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five. The big thing we've done is formed a lot of collaborations and, and worked on a lot of research trying to figure out what is going on with the fungus and the bats, why they're dying, are there ways to slow it down to treat the fungus so that it won't kill the bats. Um, so Pennsylvania is central into a lot of the research going on. You'll find a lot of the samples collected for researchers abroad have come from here. Um, we also have a treatment experiment going on in the lab and in the field. Um, we have uh, multiple genetic studies. We have studies looking at uh, neurological uh, impairments. Uh, we're gathering data on the theory that dehydration may actually be killing them. Uh, so as you can see, we're, we're heavily involved and uh, the list of studies uh, extends beyond that. But, but we're doing a lot more than just actually trying to get mortality numbers. <laughs> Was it worthwhile going back there? I got a pip. And five more little browns, two of them with full-blown fungus. But, so yeah, it was worth it. The pip looked good. <laughs>